got this Dyson vacuum here. It's got a model number and everything. There. Well, in short, you know it works, but I kind of hate this thing. So, uh, the good, the bad, and the whatever in any random order. there. Yeah, the, the motor is mounted in, in this big ball joint. Uh, the vacuum has it's lots of plastic components and everything snaps together. It's got... It's articulating and pivoting and tilting and rotating at more places than than a circus acrobat. And that also means that with the many joints, pipe-to-pipe uh, -pipe connection, that, it, that there is a loss of suction at every single joint and gap and imprecise fit and snap fit and uh, lid and everything. The components kind of come apart and there is some labeling on the product and how this all comes apart but it's it's a miserable 3D puzzle I tell you that. Uh, this dust canister comes off and it opens it it, it's got a little plastic tab on it like this you can see nothing on the box says that it opens of course you need to read the manual yeah we don't know where the manual is so good luck with that the uh, the PVC canister was clear initially when it was new but due to uh, friction with dirt particles dirt is very abrasive it's basically quartz is what dirt is made of and uh, it chews up the plastic in no time so I don't know how to fit it back together it goes somewhere there in one way let me just think about it okay here's this square shape that square shape looks like it's much in there and then just and then just not even friction fit like good luck providing a good seal from there to there because it doesn't latch onto anything. All right, it's got a it's got a washable filter. Yeah, the filter looks like this on one side, and this is how it looks on the other. The filter lives under here. Here it says it's washable. Well, there are those pictures on it and sunshine, and then put it back with the with this marks up top or facing up, but. All you have is this arrow that would provide a hint that this opens here and I'm guessing that's what the instructions mean. This is how they go in as opposed to this way. So we'll just go with this one and then this thing just kind of let come over here. Latches there or I don't know. I really don't know how it goes together, but I'm looking at this circular shape here. That circle must end here. This is a rubber seal, and hopefully they go together. There's also there's also something and something that click together here. Let's see. Yeah, okay, that's a that's a reasonable fit. No, not even close. Wait a sec. Wait a sec. Okay, that's that's better. Let's see. Okay, that one is in there, and that one is in there. Sideways twist is not a big, not too much of a problem. Alrighty, let's try to let's try to attach it somehow. Okay. Well. If it doesn't clip on this way, okay, it does clip on this way. All right, so supposedly this one is put together. Yeah, it's got two buttons on it, one for power and one for powering the rotating brush at the front. Uh, that button arrangement is pissing me off, and and the the button is I don't know when it's on. It doesn't have a positive feel that it's engaged or disengaged or something. It's just stupid. One of them lights up, the other one doesn't. <sighs> I just hate it, okay? And then 
vacuum or suction is lost or uh, maybe not lost but you know it comes apart here too you can pull out some of the components of course like I said it loses some vacuum or some suction at every single point and and the no not that way the handle also comes apart somehow which sometimes I manage to pull apart not that way or maybe not today I don't know maybe this one all right that's how it comes apart like it's cutesy and everything but it's uh, yeah it's there and you can use the end for uh, going into a drawer or something I was vacuuming the cabinets whatever the edge but but because this one is higher than the end of the pipe here it doesn't fit flush against a carpet or wall or a drawer bottom or anything so so this this part is a problem it's a stupid fit for anything flat so that's how this Dyson looks like yeah I guess it does create vacuum and it does work but it mostly it sucks.